Hey everyone, let's just jump right into the video. So the first palette I'm going to be taking is the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to be taking the shade Nana I think it's called and I'm going to be taking that on a big fluffy brush. Um, I think this is the Kylie Cosmetics fluffy brush from their whole other collection and I'm going to be just running that colour just right into my crease, buffing it right into my brow bone and just all over. Now we're moving on to the Anastasia Subculture Palette. I was really a wee bit like on edge about using this, hence why I had done the first light off camera, just in case it kind of messed up on me a wee bit, because I think we all know it's a wee bit of a controversial eyeshadow palette. So I first went in with the shade Untamed, and I used this on a slightly smaller fluffy brush, and I just placed this right in my crease. This, <laughs> um, I don't even know, it was kind of okay to blend out, but I think I dipped my brush in by once, twice maybe, and this is the colour payoff that I got, so it was the most pigmented eyeshadow I've actually used in a palette. So I then went in with a bigger fluffy brush again, just to help blend the shadow out and just buff out the edges, just so it's more seamless. Then I'm going in with that Untamed shadow again from Anastasia, just to build up the depth in my crease and just make it slightly darker, so we have that gradual blend. I feel so professional whenever I have like two brushes on my hand and I'm blending with that same hand. It's like, eh, look at me. <laughs> so I just keep on going back and forth and back and forth, just keeping on blending that shadow out. So then I'm going to take the Axis shade, I think it's called from the Anastasia Subculture palette. It's a, the darkest teal green in the palette. And then I'm just going to go and pack that one in my outer corner as well. I don't know if you can notice or not, but I know I can. Um, whenever I was packing it on, it was getting a wee bit patchy and a wee bit hard to blend. So I kind of cut most of it out, but as you can see, it is a wee bit patchy. I have spent ages blending this out, but if you take the time and blend, it will work out for you. So now I'm going to cut the front part of my crease and I'm going to be using the Stila Glow and Glitter. Magnificent Metals, yeah, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the colour Smouldering Satin. These are absolutely beautiful. I just think these are perfect for actually like cutting the crease and having a base for a pigment. So whenever I have that halfway in, I'm going to go and blend the edges so it isn't just that one straight harsh line. So now I'm going to go in with the Peaches and Cream Glitter Base Glue and I'm just going to take a Urban Decay, Urban Decay flat top packing brush and I'm just going to be patting that in and letting it go tacky. Then I'm going in with the, hold on a wee tickaroo to I get it out. This is the Peaches and Cream also famous loose eyeshadow. Oh, that eyeshadow, like seriously, that pigment. That actually makes me feel all warm and fuzzy in between my legs. But anyway, you could have left it the way it was with the Stila, but I just want it a wee bit more pop. So now I'm taking that packing brush again and I'm just packing the... Well, I'm not packing actually, I'm just mixing them in between each other, just so it's more seamless. And then I'm taking a flat top brush and I'm just putting the Axis shade from the Anastasia palette just along my actual crease, kind of where I cut it with the Stila, just to give it a wee bit more definition and depth. And just another more blend. Now I'm starting off with my base and I used for the first time the Maybelline Superstay, Superstay 24 Full Coverage Foundation. I thought the coverage was absolutely beautiful in this foundation. The one thing I wasn't too sure about it was the fact that it dried very very quickly and it did dry matte. So I didn't need to powder my face as much as I would usually need to or have to but it was a beautiful finish and beautiful coverage. So I'm, once I have that all blended in, I'm just going over and buffing it all in again. And I'm just using the collection Last Imperfection Concealer in the shade Fair. And I'm just going to bounce that all over my areas where I want highlighted and concealed. Now 
now to set my foundation and I'm using the Hello Flawless powder foundation I'm thinking yeah from Benefit and this is in the shade Champagne and I'm just going in with pattern motions because I don't want to go in rubbing because I don't want to be upset what I have underneath like my base or my foundation or anything so now I'm going in with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in light and I'm just setting my concealer as you can see I didn't actually set that much hence I was saying earlier I didn't need to because the foundation did dry down quite matte and because I'm doing a low smoky eye in my lower lash line so I didn't need it to be that set because the eyeshadow will also act as a set and so it doesn't you don't have creasing so now to highlight I'm using the LMD master palette and I'm just going to use the highlighting shade in that palette to highlight my cheekbones nose cupid bow all the highest points in my face Now I'm just using Hula by Benefit and I'm just going to bronze up my face and do a little bit of contour. So now I'm taking that darkest shade again from the Anastasia palette, the darkest teal shade, sorry, um, axis, and I'm going to be running that along my lower lash line with a small flat top brush, just as tight as I can in my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in and blend that out. So now I'm taking a fluffy brush where I actually thought was clean but it clearly wasn't as you can tell by my face I did fuck up quite a lot. Um, <laughs> I like smoky eyes but I don't like them that smoky. <laughs> I thought the brush was clean, it clearly wasn't so I just grabbed a wee powder brush and I just cleaned that up a wee bit. So this was just a wee additional added extra, you do not feel the need that you have to do this. Um, so this is where I am applying the stars. I just applied the stars with the Peaches and Cream Glitter Base. Just wee dots wherever I wanted them to be placed. And I just got these wee stars from like a wee arts and crafts store in Balmina. And they looked lovely. Well I know this was like a voiceover tutorial. But because this is going to be my last tutorial before the new year. I think so. Yeah it is to so just say few things because this is obviously my first year of being on YouTube so I just want to say a massive thank you so so much to everybody that has been subscribed to me and has supported me from the very beginning and I just want to say a thank you also to everybody that has joined me on this journey recently so I just wanted to say thank you so so much for subscribing to my channel and supporting me throughout my first awesome year on YouTube <laughs> I also just want to say I wish absolutely everybody who is watching this right now to have an absolutely fantastic new year. So I hope you are all entering the new year with love in your hearts, family by your side and drinking your cup. Awesome. I hope everybody enjoyed my final tutorial of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next year. <laughs>